Hi guys, welcome back. This is my 12 week scan update plus my consultant update which happened the day after the scan. I do have Brody in here with me. He is quiet currently. I have just moved him away from his wall because he's been pulling the wallpaper off. So yes, he is just here. I am going back a little while. It is a few months after my scan but I did, did want to just update you all and show you the pictures I got. And everything like that so i did have to attend this scan on my own because of lockdown and the coronavirus and everything like that lee was not allowed to attend the scan with me which really sucked because i don't know if you've been following like our journey for a while or if you're just new here but i am petrified of a 12-week scan we lost our first baby and i found out at our 12-week scan that there was no heartbeat and ever since i have struggled with 12-week scans because you don't have baby kicking to let you know they're okay and everything at that point so it was really really nerve-wracking but uh, luckily everything was okay we did have an early scan at six weeks and five days i think it was so this scan was done at 12 weeks and five days on the 28th of april i'm sorry if you see me looking down i am trying to remember but i've also got all of the forms and everything from the scan here as well so yeah i went alone they just did all the measurements everything's looking okay baby's heartbeat was beating away perfectly which is such a relief to hear every time i have a 12 week scan of course since losing our first baby i have had three other babies um and i'm still petrified of a 12 week scan i enjoy it once i know that baby is okay so there is only one baby in there that was confirmed at the six weeks and also again this time there's just one baby like i said the heartbeat was beating away perfectly everything was okay i'm sorry but it's starting to get a little twisty to be out because he likes to push my camera stand over so i will try to make this fast so as i was measuring 12 weeks and five days they put my due date a few days sooner than i thought and put it at the 5th of november which is two days after my birthday He's now behind me, so if he starts getting in the way, I apologise. I did also get the Down syndrome blood test and like screen and done. They measured the back of baby's neck, which I will make a separate video on of the results. <laughs> Sit with mommy. There. So yeah, everything on the scan was perfect. Like I said, I had the consultant appointment the next day. He took me and asked why i was there i said because i'd had two previous c-sections he's like okay that makes sense as you're a healthy weight well you're not a worry weight you're not too overweight and um, yeah. as you're healthy in general you don't bother the doctors yeah. a lot and everything like that he said he was happy just to not see me again because he didn't want me coming back and forth to the hospital with everything that's going on and he just booked my c-section there and then he didn't even tell me the like the pros and cons of having a c-section all the risks and everything like that which we'll go into at the pre or which he couldn't book at the time because he doesn't know how they're going to be done depending on how everything is in the world at the time but he just booked my c-section i will not confirm my date yet because i don't know if i will be sharing that yet or later or if i share it at all but yes he booked my c-section that day and that day so i've had my c-section booked from 12 weeks which is really good <sighs> Brody is now climbing behind his cot because I moved it out so he couldn't pull off my wallpaper and now he's just climbing behind it. So anyway, yes, everything went good. I got lots of scan pictures because Lee couldn't be there so they printed me loads and loads off. So I will just quickly show you the scan pictures. If it's too hard to show you or if Brody starts being too much of a pain, I'll just take pictures and add them at the end. But I will try and show you here without showing my name and everything. So this might be difficult. So this one uh, this one like i said there are so many scam pages uh, this one some of them aren't the best but she, she just said she wanted to give me lots of pictures with Lee not been there, this one's baby looking at horse. And then there's this one. 
that we had like their hand up here and their little legs in the corner. Are you showing them my envelope? Thank you. And then there is this one. I'm not sure about what this is, if it's like my ovaries or something. They never told me, but it's on a lot of the scam pictures and I'm very curious. This one again, has their little hand up here, near their head and their legs. And then this is the last one, which again with their hand on their head. So yeah, like I said, I got lots of scam pictures because Lee couldn't come, so they wanted to print out lots. Brody is not my camera, so much that's gone all all over this so yes i will just leave this video here because brody is starting to try and push my camera over and getting in the way so thank you all so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe i will be making more scan updates i have a 20 week scan update to go up i have my 22 week scan plus 4d like a sneak peek of the 4d as well so i will get them recorded and uploaded in the next few weeks He's going to push the camera over. So thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.